we'll start this chapter by looking at the graphs of the sine and the cosine function. Then we'll take the sine and cosine function and build them up into a more complicated class of functions called the sinusoidal functions. And we'll look at the graphs of sinusoidal functions. After we have done that, we'll move into applications and modeling. That is to say, if you have a process that you think should be representable by a sinusoidal graph, how do we actually find the graph that represents the function? Then we move away from the sine and the cosine function and look at the graphs of the other trigonometric functions. That's really it for graphical material, but in spite of the title of this chapter being graphs of the trigonometric trick functions. We do not end the chapter here. Instead, we define the inverse trigonometric functions and see how we can use inverse trigonometric functions to solve equalities involving the trig functions.